I believe the questions about putting investment in TTIP is not whether we should do it, but how we can do it right. Can we design a new form of investment arbitration that keeps the benefits but avoids the negative? I believe the answer is yes. Thanks a lot, Commissioner, for coming here and presenting uh, your plans. Uh, and indeed, um, well, I would say they certainly go into the right direction, but my problem is indeed that I think they don't go to the core of the problem. And I think it's a pity that we in the European Parliament never had a proper discussion about whether we really want this ISDS. It was always a question of what sort of ISDS do we want? The consultation was about the reforms that you proposed on ISDS, but I think it's really important to have the principal discussion on whether we want to have that. Because now, for the first time, as you said, we have the competence as European Union level, and now is the crucial time to decide whether we want to include that or not. It would be now the time to either have it for the rest of our lives or to break with this. The Commission's assessment is that we need to negotiate rules on investment protections and ISDS in TTIP. I know that some members here believe otherwise for various reasons, uh, but let me tell you why we think it is important. First, these issues are to be addressed in the US specifically. Some believe that there is no problem in the US and the ISD, uh, that ISDS can solve. Of course, the US has a fully functioning legal system. What should we be worried about? But the fact remains that no US law prohibits discrimination against foreign investors. Putting investment in the deal would close that gap, but only if the commitments are enforceable. And ISDS is the only way to enforce them, because international law cannot be invoked in US courts. You have tried to explain that this system was certainly mal foutu, assez pervers à bien des égards, and that you were trying to améliorer. it. But never have you shown us why it was necessary this system. Why did we have Europe and the United States nous avions absolument besoin de ce système? Et quand on regarde d'ailleurs les études de l'OCDE, les études de la Banque mondiale, quand on regarde l'état des investissements transatlantiques, vous n'avez pas un seul économiste aujourd'hui qui dit « ce système de protection de l'investissement à travers des tribunaux privés arbitraux favorise l'investissement ». Il n'y a pas un rapport économique qui dit que ça favorise l'investissement. Au fond, l'argument que vous utilisez, c'est de dire « on a 1400 accords qui comprennent de la SDS, donc il faut continuer ». Many of you do believe that, that ISDS as they are or as they could possibly be reformed are not necessary. I mean, that's a perfectly valid view. We have different <coughs> views on them, but the fact is that they exist today. They are there. We have nine with the US. We have more than 1,000 in the EU. There are more than 3,000 in the world. So they are there. They will not disappear just because some of you, some don't like them. Since we got the competence of, uh, for investment, the view has been clear. The current network of agreements in place is not fit for purpose in the 21st century. We want the rule of law, not the rule of lawyers. And if we are to continue with investment protection and international arbitration, it has to be a different animal. And that is why the Commission already, uh, some time ago, started to change ISDS in the agreement with Canada, for instance. Alors vous nous dites, nous allons le réformer, on va changer l'animal. Mais désolé, vous pouvez limer les, 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 les canines d'un loup, ça reste un loup. Et que ça ne change absolument pas les, la perversité et euh, les méfaits de ce système-là. Prenons deux exemples. Euh, Aujourd'hui, la Commission européenne enquête sur les accords entre Apple Irlande et Starbucks Pays-Bas. Potentiellement, et j'espère que la Commission européenne sanctionnera ces conventions fiscales et qu'elle obligera ces entreprises à rembourser les, tout ce qu'ils n'ont pas payé en termes d'impôts. Et bien avec les propositions que vous faites, et bien Apple et Starbucks choisiront évidemment la voie du tribunal arbitral privé pour récupérer l'argent qu'ils auraient dû payer. Du fait du droit européen. We can talk about this international court that has been mentioned by several in different occasions. I think we can absolutely talk about it. It might be a very interesting option. For me, the red line there is as long as we include also complaints against investors, because a lot of human rights abuses are committed by investors. And if we're bringing it to the international attention, I think there, uh, the, the, the obligations of investors should also be uh, included. But why can't we find a way of putting into TTIP um, that we say, well, we commit ourselves to working towards such an international court, but because we do that, we will not have an ISDS in TTIP. Wouldn't that also be an option? 
On est donc dans un système qui est supérieur, qui remet potentiellement en cause le, la, 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 la compétence de la Cour européenne de justice et de tous nos systèmes juridiques nationaux. On n'en a pas besoin. Si vous êtes d'accord sur un tribunal international, eh ben faisons-le et puis laissons ISDS en dehors de tout accord. Merci. Frau Begin.